today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the get ready with me and if I seem a little bit annoyed it's because I am. I did a look. Turned out like shit. So I am starting over. And it was like unsavable. And first I was like okay am I going to do it all over again or should I... Just keep going with it, but I'm starting all, all, all over because I'm annoyed. In <laughs> the other, my first attempt, I used this inter interstellar liquid eyeshadow from Linda Hallberg. It turns out that this is not my thing. It fucks it up all up and <laughs> I'm so annoyed so I just like washed it all the way. But it feels like I have like shimmer specks in my whole face so I'm just going to start over and tell you all the things that I already said and I have filmed for like 20 minutes but <sighs> so annoyed so I will test some new products in this get ready with me and I am going to prime my eyes and then I'm going to tell you which new products we are testing out and I usually don't get like that annoyed when I when the makeup doesn't turn out as I want to, but maybe I'm not in the best mood. So what we're testing out today, I am testing out Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick and also my Natasha Nuna. Natasha Denona Bloom Palette. So that's the new things I'm testing out today. And for eyeshadows, I have taken out these two palettes from Kaleidos. It's Astro Pink and VR Neon. And I noticed one thing in my Astro Pink. It was actually one of you, Alice, that asked if my palette looked like her. And it did. I don't know if I can show you. I don't know how, if you can see, but it's like leaked from this. Can I have a little focus, please? Okay. It's leaked from that shade that I really like, but it still, it doesn't smell and it still works as it should. So I guess there is no probs with that. So okay, now we just have to remember all the things I have said. I am not going to tell you which colors I'm using, but I am doing something colorful and very, very shimmery, I think. So okay, I have missed doing Get Red With Me's. It feels like I do them pretty often, but I I like to do them and you seem to like to watch them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do one. And I feel this is the best way for me to test out new face products because I'm not going to do a video like a foundation, a first impression on a foundation because I just don't do that not my thing so I want to take this that in this video so okay I have some things that I wanted to talk about if you didn't know I have a little, little idea I don't know if this is ever going to happen I don't know if I am brave enough to do this but if you didn't know me and Jessica we did a live stream together it was so fun and it felt like you also thought it was fun. I really loved it and because of the whole situation right now, I am not going to visit Jessica and she's not going to visit me. Not right now at least. So I asked her if she wanted to do a live stream with me and she said yes and it was so fun. And I... <laughs> I loved it 
and I am thinking about doing it to like a thing on my channel to do get ready with me and then have a guest but I don't know if I am like brave enough to do that because Jessica and me we are friends in real life she is a very close friend to me and I can talk to her about like everything and it didn't felt strange yeah a bit strange but not like the thing to talk to Jessica but I don't know if I'm going to invite some of my other like YouTube friends I think I'm going to be too nervous and I don't think it's going to be fun to look at but it's like a little dream I have right now because I thought it was so so fun to do that live stream I was home alone that weekend and it was like the perfect thing to do and it was so fun I I loved it And okay, when I washed away the other makeup I did, I was like, okay, I don't want to do anything more shimmery because I have glitter specks all over my face and now I'm going to do a whole shimmer look. Now I'm using the VR Neon palette. And I think this shade is called Easter Egg. I am not sure, but I think. And I'm doing pink again. What is up with me? Okay, it felt like I had so much to talk about, but now I'm like, <sighs> what am I going to talk about? I don't know. I can <laughs> one thing that that is happening in my personal life me and my boyfriend are thinking about buying a new cat if you didn't know one of our cats passed away earlier this year she had a heart failure and now we have one cat we have Elsa and it feels like she's doing fine but I think she actually wants a friend, so we are looking for a new cat. And my boyfriend, he wants to buy a Maine Coon. I am not super thrilled about that because it is a big cat and I'm not super thrilled about big cats, but it's leaning against buying a Maine Coon cat and they look so, so nice. It's beautiful cats. <laughs> but like Budil, the cat that passed away, she was super small. And Elsa <laughs> is also pretty small. And I'm not like used to big cats. But my boyfriend, when he was a kid, his mother, um, was a breeder? Is it called that? It sounds strange. But yeah, she had Min Coon cats, so he really likes them. Of course I'm excited to it, but it also feels like... I don't know. It feels a little bit strange. I have never had cats before um, because my mom is allergic to animals and I had a bunny or a rabbit. I don't know what's the difference between a bunny and a rabbit uh, when I was small and that rabbit was outside and uh, all the time so it went good and he was like Why does it feel awful to have a bunny outside, but a cat, it's, it feels that people feel like it's awful to have it in 
indoors. Um, but he had uh, like a, our whole porch that he could be in and yeah. But I never had cats before. And I like want to, if we get a Maine Coon, I want to, is it really called breed? I want to take Kaden's off it. <laughs> but I know it's going to end up like having 10 cats because I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell them. But yeah, that's going to wait until we have bought a house because now we'll live in a two room apartment. Okay, I like this so much better than the other shit that I did before. So that's good. I am just going to... Should I do the thing I hate to do? Take away the fallouts with a makeup wipe. I like never do this. Can you actually do it like this? It feels like the makeup I put under is going to not get stuck. Because they've used them. Okay, I'm going to the bathroom and fix this. This doesn't feel good at all. I will be back. Okay, I don't know how this video is going right now, but I'm still sticking in there. And I feel that I just want to take my old blending brush and just swoop it a little bit in my crease. And I have so much clear specks all over my face. It, and I am going to use two primers. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putter Primer on my nose and Milk Makeup's Luminous Blur Stick on the rest of my face. And I, what I know, this foundation, the stick foundation, it is not matte. I really hope because the Flex Foundation is okay not matte full coverage i know that the flex foundation in a tube is full coverage but i don't think that the stick foundation and if you didn't know i hate full coverage and i don't know how the color is i tested it a bit on my your line and it looked good there, so I really hope it <laughs> works. I took the shade that I have in the concealer from Milk, and also I think I took the lightest shade with a natural undertone, and that's usually what I am. But I am always like a little bit afraid to test out a new foundation. I'm just going to wait for it to settle a little bit the primer and I have my mirror there to do my base on and if I seem a little bit annoyed today it's because I'm just am it is that time of the month soon and like a week before I get so frustrated with everything <laughs> maybe it's not a good idea and then the makeup it fucked up and I was like but one thing I can talk about now when I'm waiting for this to sink in a little bit, I am doing, I haven't like gone out with this because I'm not sure if I'm going to succeed or not, but I am posting every day in May on my Instagram. It's like the third day of May when I'm filming this. So I can't like say it feels good. Because it's gone three days. But yeah. Okay now I'm going to try this. So. It looks like this. And I like never know. How I have had. Okay this feels too much. I have had one other stick foundation disgusting does it smell a little bit yeah and am i going to be able to t 
take it out with a sponge. Okay, it feels like I have to force it. I have had the... Okay, maybe I shouldn't talk while I'm doing this. Okay, is it because I'm a little bit dry? It's like it's hard to work out. I don't know. The only good thing it feels like my sponge isn't taking anything of the product at all. And now I'm talking again. I think the color is like perfect it feels like. I just need a little bit more on my nose. And if you have this, please come with some tips how best to use it. Because I, I have only tried the stick foundation from Makeup Revolution before and that I liked it like half of it and then it started to be, I don't know, it's like uh, start to oxidize halfway through with the stick and I, and it just didn't look good at all. Okay, I want a little bit more here on my nose. And I don't know if that is what happened with that. And that is the only stick foundation I have tried. And now on this one. And this was on sale at Sephora in Sweden. So I was like, okay, I want to try it. Okay, I think the color is really good. It looks really good on the skin. And the coverage is pretty light, I would say. I at least maybe I should do half of my face first. I don't know. The only it felt like I really, really needed to like press it. Or what? It was hard to get out with the sponge. I maybe should watch a video. Now I'm just taking a concealer from. Next to cover up my dark under eyes a little bit. So if you have the milk stick foundation, how do you work with it? Please tell me. And okay, am I really tired? Is that why nothing can <laughs> cover this? I really like this NYX concealer okay, how am I oh here I haven't blended it out at all feels like nothing goes my way today because it feels like I need more concealer maybe this was like the worst day ever doing it right with me yeah maybe it was am I doing it either way Yes, I am. Okay, I'm just going to get some base things. Okay, and I actually don't know how to do things now, if I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to set my concealer a little bit. And I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder. And sometimes I really, really love this. And then... It like feel like the powder hate me and it looks awful but right now we are in a good mood together okay I don't feel that sticky I feel a little bit sticky but it's not like too much stickiness and I don't know what a Natasha bloom palette if I want to do I want to powder this? And how should I do it then? I Maybe it's a stupid idea to take a new foundation and then test out a new product because then I don't know if it's the foundation or the product that is bad. I don't know. Okay, I think I'm just going to test out the Bloom palette now and I'm going to take this cream blush 
and okay. And I watched one of Paulina's video when she used this, yes, so I could know how to use it. And I'm taking a stippling brush, I do it with my stick. Brush this as well, and she just dipped in once, and I have now dipped in four times. It's a little on the brush, but we will see. Okay, I know why she only dipped in once. <laughs> okay, hello. Blush, okay, I think it looks better on camera. And it does for me. Uh, it came a little bit too much. Okay, if we take it once on this cheek, that is like okay. I okay. This does not look. super good right now I don't know this is not my favorite stippling brush but the one that I usually use for my stick blushes or my cream blushes it's not washed okay it feels like I have too much and I'm just glad that you can't see it. I don't think that this stippling brush was any good. Because it feels like... I don't know. Okay, maybe like this. And I see now in the camera it doesn't look that I have anything on at all. But hey, I do. Okay, I'm not thrilled right now, and for my... Okay, how am I going to do this? I don't know if I can take this as a highlighter, but I think I want to set my face before that. So I am taking the Nabla Pressed Powder to put on my face, and then I maybe... The blush maybe isn't that like overwhelming then. Okay, I still think it looks a little bit strange. Maybe because I only have blush on and nothing else. I'm just going to take my NYX sculpt to do a little bit of a contour. And okay, I never do it in this order. I always do like contour blush and then highlight and now I'm taking the glow extreme this one as my highlight and I really hope this works and okay. I'm taking the Kaleidos highlight brush and maybe I should just stop digging into this okay and I feel this is too dark for me It doesn't look good, okay? It looks like shit right now and I'm starting to get angry. I go in with this one instead, the Aurora. And take Luna on this one. If I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Ooh, and this is really pigmented. I like forgot about that. And I have no idea why I did test out a new foundation, a new blush palette, a new like formula on the blush, everything on the same day because it doesn't feel good. I am going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to do them off cam because it feels like if I do them on cam it's going to end up like shit, so I will fix them off cam and then I'll come back. Okay, so time for the under eyes and I think I will go in with Unknown from the Spectra palette from Linda Holberg. And then maybe take... 
least one of the shimmers. I will just take this to like smudge on my whole lower lash. And I don't talk like that when I do get rid of me. I put on some setting spray while I pause you and I feel that it looks a little bit better and yeah. I actually don't know what I feel about the Bloom palette. I don't think I want to use it with this foundation maybe. I usually like to use cream products together with my serum foundation from The Ordinary because I don't need to set that one. And I always have a hard time when it comes to cream products and wanting to set my foundation. <laughs> but I think I like the foundation actually. It looks good and I don't feel like it has ox oxidized anything. So I think I like it. It just was a little bit hard to like smudge it around. Maybe I need a more like hydrating primer underneath. I don't know. And then I think I will take this one from the Astro Pink with my little pinky, of course. And just take it in here. Okay, and then something for my waterline. It feels like I have two options, either Insomniac from Colourpop or I think I would take Insomniac. And <laughs> I am so sorry for this get rid with me. It feels like I have been annoyed for however long this have taken. And yeah. It was a good... It felt good until I fucked up the first look. And then a mascara. Okay, and for my lips, I don't know, I, if you didn't know, I have always have a hard time with pink on my lips because I don't have that many pink lipsticks. Maybe we'll try a new one. I bought two from Lethal and this is the Parcher. Maybe we'll see how this works. Okay, I really like the eyes, but a lip, I can see it's not, it is not the right to the lips, so I think I have to mess this up and take this away. Okay, I go with November from Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip, like the only pink I own, it feels like sometimes. It feels like I maybe should have taken something more like purple. I don't know, why, why am I so bad to choose a lipstick? I don't know, okay, so should I maybe just end this shit? Yes, I should. So what do I think about the new things I have test out? This one, I feel like it because my skin looks smooth, it looks good. I thought it was a little bit of a struggle to like Take it out on the skin. <laughs> Nobody's going to watch it. And with the Natasha Bloom, Natasha the Nom Nom Bloom palette, um, I use this. I think this is too dark for me to use as a highlighter. I think maybe like a blush topper. I need to use a better brush for uh, this one. I Now I like it more when it's a little bit more toned down, but it was a little bit too much. You couldn't see it, but I could. 
but right now I think it looks pretty okay and that was maybe all the new things yeah the sleepy felt really good but it was just the wrong color so okay that was all for this get ready with me I just have to end this because I'm so sorry <laughs> so so sorry for this video but please let me know if you want me to do get ready with us with other youtubers and if you are another youtuber friend of mine here or whoever if you want to join in please let me know and we will see if i can like have the courage to do it i don't think i'm going to be able to but i can at least dream so yeah i really hope you like this get ready with me i'm so sorry for my temper Maybe you thought it was fun to watch me get a little bit annoyed. I don't know. But yeah, that was all. I hope you liked it. And if I remember, I will put all the products I've used down in the description. But I think I'm going to forget about it. From the Astro Pink palette, I used all these three colors. And from the VR Neon palette, I used... Uh, this one and then I used from the spectral palette this one so yeah I really hope you like this video if it's ever coming up we will see but yeah I really hope you like this and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do I am mostly more happy and joyful than this or am I really I don't know oh yeah I really hope you like this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one Bye!